Fast typing saves time, increases productivity, and gives you a competitive edge in today's digital world. The faster you can type, the more you can do. It is that simple. What's the secret then? How can you increase your typing speed to complete projects and tasks quicker? Well, there isn't just one secret, but don't worry, I'm going to show you all of the best techniques to increase your typing speed, including an expert technique that I'll share at the end for advanced typers that are just looking for that last little nudge to push them over the edge and into 200 words per minute land. I have to level with you first though. Learning to type fast isn't easy. It takes commitment, discipline, drive, and persistence. Typing is both a mental and physical skill, and it takes time to build that connection. Over time, you'll build what's called muscle memory, just like you would build playing a sport. And it makes it so that each day that you wake up while you're typing, it should be easier and easier to make those finger movements on the keyboard because you're building that muscle memory over time. So the truth is, to learn how to type faster and more accurate, you've got to put in some hard work. And we'll talk about the best ways to do that in a few minutes. But first, my first tip for you is to stay motivated and committed. Typing fast and accurate is awesome. It makes using a computer so easy. It makes expressing yourself through text easy. It helps in so many ways. But first, you've got to want it. When things get tough and your pinky fingers feel like they're about to fall off at the end of the day from typing shift over and over again, you've got to dig down deep. You've got to think about how much time you're going to save. And it's not just going to be for tomorrow or the next day. But once you get this skill, it's going to be for the rest of your life. But it's going to be hard. There are going to be times when you are going to be so frustrated and at first it may even seem like you're typing slower because you probably are you're changing the way that you type and it takes time to learn that so you should give yourself some more time for typing tasks in the first couple weeks that you're really trying to go down this road because it is going to take more time but over time that means you're going to save a ton of time in the future so it's worth it think about how you'll be able to send school and work emails without looking at the keyboard in fact, you'll barely have to think at all because that's what it's like once you learn how to type. It's like riding a bike. It's like tying shoes. Your brain just kind of does it for you. But first, you've got to put in the work. Now, what are the most efficient ways that you can put in that work to increase your typing speed and accuracy as quickly as possible? Well, let's get into it. Number one, practice good posture. Your elbows should be at a 90 degree angle or wider, and your wrists should be as straight as possible. You don't want a thick wrist pad that causes your wrists to curl. As you can see in my setup, my wrist pad actually angles down, allowing for a very straight wrist position. Number two, always go back to the home row. As you can see in the finger chart, the home row consists of the fingers A, S, D, and F for the left hand, and J, K, L, and semicolon for the right hand. I'll post a link to this chart in the description of the video for those who'd like to download or print it for reference. This position allows for the most efficient access to all of the keys on the keyboard. And although advanced typers may modify their position a little bit depending on the task that they're working on, intermediate and beginner typers should always return to the home row. Not only will it set you up better to type the next letter, but it will also make sure that you're using the right fingers to type the right keys and give you valuable practice for those pesky ring and pinky fingers. Get in the habit of always returning to this position without looking. And remember, the F and the J keys should have a little bump on them, at least on most keyboards, to let you know that your fingers are in the right place. That brings me to my next point. No looking when typing either. Okay, so I know this can be hard. How are you supposed to type the right letters if one, you can't look at the keyboard, and two, you're a beginner and you haven't memorized where all the keys are yet? Well, one thing you can do is you can print out the finger chart that I just showed on the screen, and then you can put it next to you at your workstation. So if you get stuck when trying to type a letter, you can always refer to that instead of looking at your keyboard. Then, practice typing the delete or backspace key a lot. You're going to need this key a lot when you first start typing, and it's great practice for your pinky finger. Then, when you're trying to find a letter, if you don't get the right letter, without looking, press backspace with your pinky, right? And then try again. Rinse and repeat until you find the right letter. Yes, this can be time consuming, and absolutely it's frustrating, but this is how you learn to type fast and efficiently. 
Obviously, if you're in a real world time crunch, you can break the rules a little bit, but you should also be giving yourself more time for typing tasks in those first few weeks that you're typing with the standard method. And remember, once your training is complete, you'll be completing all of these tasks faster for the rest of your life. With that being said, my next point is to practice, practice, practice. You will never become a faster typer without practice. It just won't happen. Practice should be considered any time you're typing without looking at the keyboard. So you could open up Nitro Type or some other typing game and have some fun while you're practicing. You could open up your favorite book and start to type it out as you read it. Or you could just go about your daily tasks on the computer but without looking at the keyboard. If you're a beginner and you're looking to learn and practice quickly, I've authored a full typing course on LinkedIn Learning that takes you through every single keystroke. And I'll post a link to that course in the description of this video for those that are interested. As you practice, if a particular finger is giving you more difficulty than other fingers, you should absolutely focus on that finger. Just pick two letters that are typed by that finger and type them over and over again while returning to the home row in between. For example, if I wanted to practice my left pinky, I could keep typing Q and Z while remembering to return to the home row in between. This isolated practice method can be used for any finger in any combination of keys. So once you find out where your bottlenecks are, this is a great way to handle them. The method that you choose for practicing isn't all that important, as long as you're using the right fingers for the right keys and you're not looking at the keyboard. Again, you can always modify this in the future, but if you haven't yet mastered typing from the home row, then this should be your next goal. Now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, an advanced typing technique that can help even the fastest of typers type faster. The technique that I want to share is called scanning. Scanning is less about raw typing skill and more about brain processing speed and capability. You see, there comes a point when your fingers may be able to move a little bit faster, but your brain isn't actually thinking of what to type fast enough and your fingers have some idle time. This is where scanning comes into play. If you're comfortable at typing in pretty much any situation, but you're still looking to type faster, then I think you should start practicing scanning. Whenever you're typing a particular word, you should know what the next two words you're going to type are, so that as soon as your fingers finish their current task, they already have another one queued up in the brain so that they can just keep on going and hopefully never have any idle time. The best way to practice this is by typing sentences that you already know. I like to use song lyrics, but you could also just pull up some text on a second monitor and just start copying that text. Because if you know the lyrics or if you can see the text, you can look ahead and you can practice thinking ahead so that your fingers are always moving. And for those of you who already type well but are just looking for a little bit of an edge, I think this is what you're looking for. It's almost a practice in kind of mindfulness and harnessing the power of the brain, speed reading. I, I would think that you know speed reading would be like a great complimentary activity to help you type faster so that's something that you might want to think about as well now i just want to leave you with one last thing to think about typing is a skill that is learned and it absolutely takes practice once you know the standard method you're kind of set up to learn how to type faster you just now need to practice but practice is boring so you know, practicing is important, but what I think is really important about typing is staying motivated, getting pumped up, and thinking about how much faster you're going to be able to do pretty much everything nowadays, because even on your phone, if you know where all the keys are, you can text faster, right? So it's going to speed up just about everything, and I really try to motivate you at the beginning of this video for that reason because I think at the end of the day that's probably going to be the most important thing that you get out of this video is the motivation and the encouragement to keep going you will get there it takes practice your fingers are gonna hurt you're gonna get frustrated you're gonna think that hey my pinky just doesn't reach that key it you're gonna say Anson I, I'm trying the home row standard method but my pinky won't go over there unless I move my whole hand, that happens in the beginning and you're gonna have to power through that, but it will become more agile as you practice more. So trust me on that. It's all about practice, staying disciplined and motivated. So with that being said, get your fingers over to that home row, close your eyes so you're not looking at the keyboard and then start lighting up that keyboard like never before. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.